Hi, it's Molly, and today I wanted to show you a new look that I've been doing. I call this my Beach to Barbecue Makeup, and this is the makeup that I do when I know I'm going to be leaving my house in the morning and going to the beach, and I'm going to be staying out all day into the night. I don't want to bring makeup with me. I don't want to have to touch anything up. I want to do my makeup in the morning and be done with it until I get home and wash my, my face off. Let's get started so you can see how I put it all together. The Hourglass Veal mineral primer. It has SPF 15 in it. I'm also going to get some SPF on my lips with chapstick with SPF 15. I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Medium has been my shade for summer, but it has been a little bit dark at times, so I've still been mixing it with a drop of light. I'm going to blend that with a damp beauty blender. I'm going to go under my eye, under my eyes and over any spot. I've probably had this tube of Amazing Cosmetics Concealer for three years and I use it almost every single day and it's still, it's like half full, it's crazy. Next up, I'm gonna do some high beam on my cheeks. I'm going to contour a little bit using my Anastasia Contour Kit and my Tarte Contouring Brush. I'm going to be using the Center Shade Font. I like to use a little bit of the Tarte Cosmetics Smooth Operator Bronzing Powder as my bronzer. This absorbs a ton of oil throughout the day. Um, and the shade is bronze. I'm using a big fluffy brush from IT Cosmetics. And now whatever didn't get hit with the bronzer, I'm going to set with a little bit of the Physicians Formula Nude Wear Powder. I love this for light skin complexions because it combines all four of these shades so nicely. It has a little peach in there so that it looks really natural on your skin. I just kind of swirl all four shades together. We're going to do a little teeny bit of blush in the Tarte Peaceful. The Sonia Kashuk Blush Brush from Target. I like to go over even my blush with the Damp Beauty Blender because I feel like that makes it um, really blend nicely. move on to the eyes. This is a quad from Physicians Formula. It is totally matte and it's called Classic Nudes. These quads are really cheap. I think they're like seven dollars and they are an all matte drugstore palette which is really rare I feel like for drugstore shades. I'm gonna use the warmest shade for my crease.
And I'm using the Sonia Kashuk crease brush. I'm gonna go underneath my eye with that same shade now. I'm gonna be using the darker shade across all of my lid and I'm using an IT Cosmetics large fluffy brush. I'm gonna go back over and blend the two. And I'm gonna use the cream shade in the corners of my eyes and right above that crease shade. And I will be using the Stila waterproof smudge stick. I'm just going to use that darker shade again. I'm going to be using Anastasia Dip Brow and a Sephora slanted tip brush. I'm going to set those with a brow gel. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Mango Mascara. I'm going to use a little of the Silk Kiss Me at the inner corners of my eye. And a little bit right under the arch. And I'm going to use a little of the NYX uh, liner in taupe around my mouth. And I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal J Lo lipstick. I know, I know you're probably thinking lipstick to the beach, but you're actually not supposed to wear lip gloss in the summer because it can really, really, really burn your lips. So I like this shade because it's super natural and it just looks like your lips, but it gives you a little color. Once you're all done, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I like to cover my hair now this stuff will really make your makeup last it will not melt off your face so here is the finished look it's just a really nice bronzy finish for a day out your skin is not going to look like you're wearing a ton of foundation because of that CC cream and your eyes as well because it's all matte eyeshadow are not going to look like you know, you're wearing all the makeup. But then when you go out afterwards, you're gonna be really, really happy that you have some glamour on. This is the finished look for the Beach to Barbecue makeup, and I just wanted to look at it outside as well. I feel like it looks really different than the indoor lighting. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.